Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Monday, the 14th of October 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Connolly Tarot by Peter and Eileen Connolly. So I'm sorry I am late for some of you. Um, just gets a little hectic for me over the weekend as I have um, a, a full household. So it's hard to get quiet time. Uh, so usually I like to do Mondays um, on a Friday after I've done the weekend reading. But wasn't possible this time. But as I always say, better late than never. Okay then, well let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us. For Monday, the 14th of October, 2019. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Shooting out all over the place. There we go. Okay, your first card is the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the Ten of Cups, and finishing with the Page of Wands. Your first card is the Queen of Pentacles. Queens, they are a motherly energy, they are compassionate. They are nurturing, they are creative. The Queen of Pentacles, she is a very practical, a very down-to-earth energy. Um, and in this illustration, it's almost like she is shown as a, a gardener. Um, she has grown fruit, she has grown beautiful flowers, different roses, different coloured tulips, um, grapes, pears and apples. Um, she really understands about cycles. She understands about sowing seeds, allowing time for germination, nurturing them as they start to shoot through the soil, nurturing them all the way along until they either bloom or, or bear fruit where she can harvest. And she also understands that this is what happens for her internally. She has this awareness that if she has a thought or an idea, a seed that she can sow, she keeps it to herself so that she allows it that time to germinate, that time in the dark. Um, is it going to break through the soil? So I'm feeling today, my friends, you are becoming gardeners. You are becoming gardeners of your life. This is queen energy. It's, it's not power over anyone, but rather mastering the, the queenly energy. So you are today practical. You are gardeners. You are being creative. You are nurturing with an awareness. Oh, <laughs> My friends, wow, what a way to start the week. Next we have the Ten of Cups. Ten, reaching a culmination. Ten, fulfilment. Also, beginnings, because ten is endings and beginnings. So, um, I feel that you have reached a peak, a culmination. And it is... You're finding it emotionally fulfilling. Um, this card I'm feeling um, is one of, again, I'm drawn to unconditional love. Um, so you are looking through the eyes of the energy of the Ten of Cups today, my friends, which is, I'm feeling rainbow days, emotional fulfilment, 
all of your cups are full um we're having beautiful sunrises and beautiful sunsets um and we have this emotional awareness of ourselves as in the first card and of each other of others around you um, and i look at these two um the people here i'm really i'm always drawn to the purple um today i'm feeling it's your crown chakra um i feel like my lotus uh, candle holders that you have opened and you are receiving the light light being the information the information the awareness that you have that you are the gardener of your life this awareness um also I'm bringing you all the, the colours of the rainbow, all of the spectrum um, I'm feeling pouring into you now. This is what is giving you your awareness. This is, um, it's what's helping you with this mastery of emotion. Um, purple is the colour of royalty. Um, but the royalty that you have, my friends, is one of... Uh, a royal awareness rather that you have mastered you or you are mastering your emotions um and the power uh, is not power over others but power over yourself wow <laughs> and next you have the page of wands a wonderful card to come after the ten of cups so as we are ending on this wonderful high that I, I feel that you are on, uh, you are starting from this high, this wonderful emotionally, vibrationally high. Um, and this is the basis now that you are coming from, this higher vibration. And the page of ones, well, page is a youthful energy, so this is a potential beginning for you. And I do see it as a beginning because it's coming after this number 10. And the page of wands. Determination. Ambition. Action. Desires. Dreams. Going after your dreams, goals, visions and desires with determination. The page of wands is sure-footed. Um, has... Um, Again, I'm feeling this self-awareness um, and this self-awareness uh, is bringing this determination to you now that as it's ones and I'm seeing that you have, it's like you've sown the seed and the, sh and the shoots are coming now off this wand. So this wand representing the awareness, you being the gardener having this wonderful higher vibrational place that you are coming from now giving you a better a better place that you I'm hearing that you are coming from determination ready to go and explore and I'm also drawn as well as the purple but to the green um, so I'm feeling that you are more balanced you are more internally balanced um, and green also uh, your heart chakra so i'm feeling that um you are more open to your desires to your dreams and and green also it's growth and success oh wow what a way to start the week my friends <clears throat> okay colouring book time get your crayons out the secret language of colour by inner cigar and let's see what wonderful colour is going to assist us through today what is the message from spirit for my wonderful kindred spirits for Monday the 14th of October 2019 thank you okay my friends let me just lower the camera 
and your colour is <laughs> wow <laughs> red scarlet ruby pink it's all out at the moment red number two free yourself from pain okay <clears throat> <clears throat> and two, the number of options, choices, decisions, um, experience, relationships, partnerships. Red contains unlimited energy, vitality and power and draws money and prosperity into your life. It is a powerful agent for healing blood disorders, improving circulation, healing diseases, drying up sores or wounds, warming cold areas of your body and reducing pain. And because red releases adrenaline to stimulate mental and physical energy, red can relieve depression. Use a red sword of light to heal on all levels. Imagine you have a red sword of light. At the tip of the sword there is a red star which has incredible healing power. When the star touches anything sick it dissolves the sickness right out of your body. Visualize touching different parts of your body that may need healing with the red sword and say divine intelligence move your healing light through my mind and body so that I can return to a state of vibrant health. So red, helping you return to your vibrant self, returning your vitality to you. Uh, but also <laughs> red draws in money and prosperity. Uh, so I'm feeling this queen of pentacles is the the prosperity, my friends, uh, drawing it to you. What a way to start the week. Okay, who is calling me? Um, I am drawn to Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. What is the message? For my wonderful friends from Spirit, for Monday the 14th of October 2019. What do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. Okay, your energy oracle is... Oh, okay. Number 10, storm warning coming under number 10. Very interesting. Clouds on the horizon. This card indicates a potential difficulty, either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have already heard the rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious, yet not fearful. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honour yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. As with all difficulty, even the worst storm passes and also remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. Your affirmation is, I have the power to overcome any obstacle. No matter what is going on, I can be strong, confident and self-directed. Oh, this is reminding me of, of the times um, with the trusty steed. Um, and I will just use a, a trusty steed analogy for you. Um, you know, 
if I felt while we were out uh, on a hack at any time um, and I started seeing the signs of a storm warning, um, for me that would be a spook. <laughs> um, where Ruby, um, I would feel her go tense or a flick of the ear. Um, and I knew in that moment, if I didn't head it off at the pass, um, the storm would take over. Uh, and Ruby was a great one for um, spinning and bolting and heading for the hills. If I didn't take control in that moment. Um, so my friends, being consciously aware of your environment really allows you that wonderful buffer of time to free yourself from any pain that is heading your way and to also I'm feeling taking control which is this self mastery I spoke of at the beginning of the reading this queen um, energy this queen has mastered these emotions oh my wonderful friends well oracle of the unicorns Cordelia Francesca Brabs whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds and so for you, for you wonderful new subscribers that have joined um, and wonder who Ruby, the kind red spirit, is. Um, Ruby was my trusty steed and actually this week on, the, on Thursday the 17th we'll be coming up to the whole two months <laughs> already um, since I said goodbye to uh, Ruby's earth suit, her horse suit. Um, and now connect with Ruby on a completely different level, which is, um, it's truly blissful, my friends. I really, really love this moment where I uh, reconnect with Ruby, the kind red spirit. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and she didn't hang around. Thank you, Ruby, the kind red spirit. And her card for you for today is <sighs> patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. And be patient and play whilst you wait. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So we spoke about patience, sowing your seeds and allowing that wonderful divine timing while you allow that seed to germinate. This takes great patience. Uh, and Ruby is saying, remember this high vibration. So remember to play and have fun while these seeds are, are growing um, and to remember heading things off at the pass um, knowing that divine timing is at work okay patience now is not the time to charge ahead with this project or opportunity no matter how excited you are or how good it seems. The divine is at work putting more pieces into place so that your next step can unfold. You may be anxious that nothing is happening with this situation and wonder whether you should be doing more to make it happen. Rest assured, the opposite is true. You have done the work. You have set your intentions. You have made your requests to the universe. There is something just around the corner that needs a little more time to materialise. It's time to hold space so that your manifestation can occur. Let go of when or how that should happen. Release any concerns about missing out. You may not see any progress on the physical plane, but plenty is happening behind the scenes. Trust that whatever is coming will be in the perfect form and at the perfect time for you. This gentle unicorn encourages you to relax into this period of waiting, 
knowing you will need your full energy when the time to act arrives. Ooh, I'm also drawn that the to red also uh, is ambition, it is passion, it is action. Um, so divine timing at work, my friends. Uh, clearly today, uh, you are being encouraged to be the creator of your own life, to be the master, to be the gardener of your own life. Uh, you are going to do that by heading any storms off at the pass, by taking action when it is required, by remaining in this wonderful high vibration, having fun and play while you are waiting so that all the synchronicities can line up for you in the perfect way and in the perfect time. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What a way to start the week, my friends, and a wonderful, wonderful message for you from both Spirit and Ruby the Kind Red Spirit. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.